So the knife we're using is a Mercer 9-inch offset serrated knife. And many people would call this a bread knife, and I'm sure you can definitely cut bread with it, but what I like about it is, is it cuts through bones really easily, and we're gonna be cutting through some bones on these fish, and the offset handle doesn't let your fingers hit the table when you're turning it down, filleting that fillet off the skin. You're gonna take that knife, you start right up at the shoulder, work it down toward the vent, then I flip him around, go right here down the back, go all the way through, pull that fillet up, you see just like that, go through the pin bones, and go right over the rib bones. You can see we left the ribs right there, you're good to go. Spin them around, do the same thing. Pull that up, go right through underneath. When it comes to the cheeks, what I typically do is I start right there, kind of at that top quadrant of the gill. You work your hand around, work your knife around, cut right through right there. Now right here, you can cut it off, or what I tend to do is cut right down to the skin, get your finger in there, and it will peel right off the meat. You got your grouper cheek. So after you take the filet off the fish, next you're gonna skin out the filet. So I leave just a little bit of meat. That actually has a lot of tendon down there on the heel of the filet. But leave a little bit of meat so you got something for your fingers to bite on. And if you pull and work the knife at the same time, you'll get that skin off of there. It'll look just like that. And you flip your filet over, see? Almost nothing left. You'll get some right there at the top edge. I pull the, uh, the fin muscles off of there. And then I take it and split it where those pin bones are. Get rid of those and then pull off that little bit of rib cage right there. 42.7. That's all you got to do.